I just saw a big old snook right here. There we go. Nice snook, nice snook. Oh yeah, good one. There Yo, what go. is going on guys? It is your boy F2 Fishing, and I'm out here today in Fort Myers Beach. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, fishing. I brought a couple of setups here. I brought one for, you know, just general purpose beach fishing. I got my uh, NLBN mini mullet on there. It's just a light setup with a 10 pound line and a 20 pound leader. And then I've got my big setup with the uh, slammer on it, a hoagie, and uh, it's an eight foot rod, so we're gonna see if we can cast out. If I see any tarpon rolling, it's a little bit early in the season for it, but um, you know, we'll go ahead and see what happens. So let's get after it. All right guys, so we're starting off with the uh, NLBN mini mullet here on one of their NLBN hooks, whatever it's called. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start this with this. It's a white little fluke style thing. I just got the mini mullets. I've used the uh, little mullet before and those things are pretty dang good. So we'll see if uh, we can attract anything with this. It might be a little bit too windy for this, but I mean, we'll see. I think it's going to be as, may not, I don't know how much wind you're hearing on the camera, but it's certainly got a little bit of wind going on out here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch over to the uh, three inch paddle tail, honestly. Not heavy enough to uh, even sink with the amount of wind that's blowing the line, so go ahead and switch over. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and tie up. I got the uh, quarter ounce jig head here, and I've got the three inch LBN paddle tail bait here. And I believe this is the, it's either greenback or hell yeah butter, I can't remember which one I got. If you guys can see that in the shadow, I always all right, there it is, all rigged up, ready to go, pretty much dead on. So, we'll see how it does. Let's see. Just gonna go, I think, with a simple uni knot here. I don't have much leader on, but I don't think it's gonna matter. I've got white braid on, and it's only 10 pound, so I've got about I don't know, eight feet. Sorry, a foot of leader. So. All right, we're all tied up there. Snip this off, and we have our rig there. I'm hoping that the snook will be out here on the beaches and stuff. I do see some bait jumping out there, so that's a good sign. tidal movement honestly which kind of sucks but oh well how much you can do about that the entire day it was like a incoming tide this morning and then it kind of just stalled and it's kind of just sitting at a stagnant tide for now so does anybody know what that thing is even in the comments if you know what that's too is that like part of a um, horseshoe crab or what what is that i don't know i don't think i've seen that before it had like claws on all its feet it's interesting Let's see if there's anything sitting in this little trough supposedly the red tide is kind of over um but i don't know this is my first time out in a while so anything sitting in this little pool but it's nice and deep so I figured I'd give it a little shot it's really interesting how the 
hurricane washed this out. It's a bunch of pits over here. They're filled with water. Pretty interesting. It really sucks. It's, uh, grew up here, so. You know, it's been six months. Uh, we actually just hit the six month anniversary the other day. It's been six months and it's just still, still just sucks. it in here or something. I'm gonna see if I can take a shortcut through this pool. I see a sandbar. Hopefully it goes all the way across this section. Shall see it there's a lot of little bait fish. Kind of like minnow things, they're not really filtered or anything, but. Well, that was great cast, right? Ooh, that's slick. Man, this is like. It's ice. What the heck? It's sandy bottom, but the sand is really, really slick. There must be like an algae coating. It's deeper than I want to mess around with. I do have my phone in my pocket, so don't really want to have to clean salt water out of it later. Jesus, this is all used to be sand, like pure white sand. Now it's deep pit. It's crazy. Check this out. Stagnant water in there. No telling what's. This is like a metal detector person's dream out here. No telling what's in this stuff. Oh, there's like tilapia. This is still fresh water all these months later, even though it's connected to the tidal flow. There's tilapia and Mayan cichlids and other crap. Just uh, hanging out. That's interesting. This whole area has turned into like a mud flat. It's odd. Ooh, this stuff is slick. I'm gonna try and not fall and bust my ass. Whoa. On the way back, I might just take my stuff out of my pocket and take that shortcut that I was going to take earlier. This stuff is slick. Hoping that I can see some early season tarpon rolling in here. It is April 2nd of 2023 today, so... Second, right? Maybe the first? I don't remember. One of those days. The first, sorry. It's the first of April. So, I've seen some reports of people catching tarpon along the beach. So that's why I did bring my tarpon rod, in case I ended up seeing any uh, rolling out here in the pass. Water down here is more so green than blue. Kinda makes it a little difficult to see if there's any snook sitting in this trough. 
I can almost see to the bottom, but not quite. So, a little bit difficult. But. Still a lot better water quality than we've had the last several months. So, I just saw a big old snook right here. Let's see if he takes the bait. Uh, he's just cruising. Nice snook, nice snook. Oh yeah, good one. There we go. I don't know why it's not, there we go. Now it's fighting. I'm gonna lower the drag a little bit because I got light leader, like I said. I'm wrapped around his gill plate, so I don't want him to do that. He's hooked pretty well, as long as he doesn't get in his... There we go. Now he's fighting. There we go. He should be done about... Come on. Bring him in with the wave. That is a cotfish. Pretty nice one. Right there. Solid fish. Let me get my rod off of me so I can get my bag off of me. down there he is everybody now be in popped right out pretty decent one I'd say he's probably in the 23 ish range She blended in so good with the bottom. That was sweet. Super, super cool. I love getting the chance to uh, get some snook off the beach. That's awesome, man. Freaking love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, retied real quick. You can see that the line wasn't the only thing that he frayed. He got my hand a little bit there, which is all right. He ain't bleeding, he ain't fishing, as I always say, so. Bring it on and get some more, some more fish in that class. I would be very happy for today. Let's see that these NLBMs rip so easy. I do have mend it. Uh, this one doesn't need it just yet, but. price you pay for good lure action is sometimes lack of durability unless you're talking about z-man then you get both so alrighty gonna continue on down the beach just making our way down little tip for whenever you're snook fishing on the beach like this you want to stay out of the water a lot of people will walk around in the water you know and but these fish are are literally sitting right here either in this first trough and sometimes even up in these in this area where the waves break onto the beach so you don't want to um, spook them by walking through the water so you definitely want to hang out you know back here where the beyond where the waves are coming to i just saw some finger mullet swimming around in here see if we can anything following them
And that last fish was in the first trough. That's where I hooked it, so. All right, guys, I decided to move back down the beach. I walked down a little ways more and the water just kept getting more and more stirred up. Um, so I decided to move back towards the pass a little bit and uh, see if we can do any do any damage down here. And we'll get another snook or two maybe before we head along our way. And uh, I think that would be about all you can ask for for a little last second decision to go fishing on a Saturday afternoon. And we are pretty much in the same exact spot as I caught the first one, so I guess just right here where it kind of turns from beach into the pass, they like it, so. I'll probably hang around this spot for a little bit longer and see if I can get a couple more, one or two more maybe. I do probably need to get going soon here, but uh, it's really hard to leave fish whenever you haven't gone fishing in a while and you're catching some. There's the color that I'm using. It's either greenback or hell yeah butter. I think it's greenback now that I'm looking at it, but I don't know. Whatever they call their greenback pattern is what this is. Hopefully I got the water cleaned off of this thing and did enough. So, there we have it guys. Uh, there was a little bit of afternoon fishing, a little impromptu fishing expedition. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it, you know. 